Hi guys, it's Harma from Harma Channel. Thanks for coming back. Today I want to share about condominiums and four things you should know before you buy a condo. When I started my real estate career, I was with an amazing broker in Glendale who specialized in a lot of condominiums. My ex-broker taught me so much. We learned how to work with the developers, help them with the homeowners association budgeting, help them understand what they need to do to create the rules and regulations for the building. Throughout that, for the last 18 years, I learned so much and by selling over 1,400 properties myself, I learned a lot. And I'm going to share with you four things you should do before you buy your condo. Number one, active litigation. If you are interested to buy a building and there is an active litigation on the building, you should remember that not every lender will lend on a building like that. Litigation can be against the homeowners associations, it can be against the previous developer. You as a condo owner, you may want to always pay attention if you're not um, active and you don't have time to visit their uh, meetings that they host once a month. You may want to look at the minutes, look at the notes and watch what's going on because those all can lead to a litigation without even you knowing. Number two, the position of your unit. If you're buying this for yourself, it's extremely important to pay attention if the building is on a, just the three floors, it's facing on a busy street, it's a high rise, higher you go, better it gets, lower, lower levels are less expensive. Consider all that when you're writing an offer and focus on the purchase price because last sold in a building will determine the price on your unit and you don't want to compare at the most expensive unit sold in the building and then you ended up buying the darkest unit right on the first floor and the middle because that's not fair to you. Number three, I like to call them three R's, rules, restrictions, and regulations. But before I continue, I would like to share what are CCNRs. CCNRs are covenant condition and regulation. It is part of your prelim when you order that goes with the land that the community is on. So you may want to make sure you order those right on time when you get in at an escrow. But let's talk about a few restrictions that can possibly be there that you might miss. It is possible they have a restriction on rental. Like some buildings, they have a waiting list. You cannot have a more than certain percentage of the building as a rental. If you're buying to purchase for yourself, there's so many other minor stuff that you want to pay attention. Like you cannot have multiple pets. There are some pets you can't have at all. So when you are buying, you might want to think about what's important to you. And number four, special assessment. Not every special assessment is a bad thing. It will improve the quality of your environment, which is basically you will gain um, equity. Some special assessment can be extremely difficult to overcome. Like if the roof is leaking and it's affecting one side of the building, can be three, four floors of the building has to be repaired. So if you're buying a building that is very old and if you're buying this as an investment property, just remember it is likely every five years you're gonna have a special assessment. And before we finish the segment, I would like to share how much I love condo clients. They can't wait to get in. They can't wait to get out. That creates more opportunities for me. I get to meet more people. I get to know more buildings and have obviously more transactions. If you are thinking about buying or selling, you may want to work with an agent who understands your building, understands the condominium market. Thank you for watching on my videos. And if you like any of the videos, please feel free to subscribe, comment, and feel free to shoot me an email. I'm happy to answer your questions and good luck.